rabble in arms. Hello, Johnny. Who's there? John Smith, I believe. That's right. Who are you? I'm a Smith, too. Jonathan Smith. Well, I locked the window. You must have got in here before me. <laughs> a long time before. You one of them? Them who? Oh, these ain't hippie clothes. This is what I wore back in uh, Salem. When? 1770s. <laughs> well, what kind of put on is it? Put on? That's right, a gag or a joke. This ain't no joke. Well, you look like... Like you? Could be. <laughs> I'm your great, 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 great grandfather, Johnny. Oh, I gotta be dreaming this. You're crazy. Or I am. The whole world's gone crazy if you ask me. Them young yehoots out there on the Cammon? Common? Uh-oh, you mean the campus. <laughs> Milling around like a, a bunch of young Shawnees trying to work themselves up on the warpath. Where are they heading this way? But they don't know where they're heading any of the time. That's the crazy part of it. No, no, I mean tonight. Near as I could tell, they were trying to think up something to burn. I did hear mention the, uh, the college library. Uh... Is this, uh... Is this it? Yeah, this is it. Well, then you're helping him. No. <laughs> then you're getting him. No, not really. Now, look, son. You can't stand on both sides of the fence at once. <laughs> you can't be my great, great, well, whatever you say. Well, you're younger than I am. Well, might, maybe. I was just 20 when I was killed, Johnny. With Ticonderogi. My son, less than two months old. Well, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. I, I was luckier, I guess. I was in, uh, Vietnam. But I gotta get back to my studying, okay? Ah, oh, that's a funny thing. About being killed, I mean. If I had my druthers, I'd rather live for something than die for something. But what would make me sorriest of all would be to find out I died for nothing. What do you mean? Oh, we were powwowing about this on the other side lately. In the spirit world. We were just folks, us colonists. A rabble, Burgoyne called us. <laughs> of course, our lives wouldn't hold a candle to what all you got, but, um... We appreciate it just the same. Sometimes I think a heap more and... Well, never mind. As I was saying, we were, we were talking about this country. These United States of America. We gave our lives to start, and uh, was it worth it? Well, some of us have come back to find out. We just don't stomach a bunch of hooligans trying to tear down what we gave our lives to build. And you know something? We're even disgusted at the rest of you for letting him do it. Cool it, Pop. Grandpop to you. Or Jonathan, if you want. Okay. Jonathan. I told you I wasn't for him. But you weren't against him. Well, I haven't made up my mind yet. <laughs> what is there to ponder about? What's your father say? You talk it over with him. My father? I haven't seen him since high school. He just took off one day and it was that. I'm sorry, I didn't know. That's okay. I'm getting over it. Mom's remarried, though. This time to a real no-good Nick. That's when I left home. Well, in our day, home was about all we had. And our religion, of course. Family life was our way of life. Our family and our religion, 
They kept us straight. If a fellow wanted to go wrong, he had to work at it. But today, well, home just doesn't seem like home anymore. Who needs it? Not me. That's because you haven't found the right girl. <laughs> I found dozens of them. But why keep a cow when uh, milk's so cheap, huh? Now, don't talk like that, Johnny. Oh, I reckon it's hard not to be bitter over a broken home. But you are responsible for you. Besides, you're a stripe above those rowdies out there. You don't have to sink to their level. They're young yet. They do and say a lot of crazy kid stuff. But that's what they are. They're just kids. Even so, they, what they come up with makes a lot of sense. Look. You are revolutionary. Well, they're revolutionaries. What did you say? Your, your, your colonists look like a rabble? Well, God knows. Most of these kids don't look like anything human. You're right, Johnny. God does know. And he's been real patient about it so far, don't you think? But don't compare that riffraff to your founding fathers. We were making a place where people could worship God. And these people want to deny God and want to deny him to others. And what do they offer instead? We thought of only building something. And these people think of only what they can destroy. And again, I say, what do they offer in its place? Well, they say, in order to build a better world, you've got to destroy this one. <laughs> and that's one of the things they say you think makes sense. Look, uh, I've got to find a book up there for this paper I'm writing. If we have any visitors, they're likely to come in this way. The door's locked, but you never can tell. Would you mind standing guard over the door while I'm up there? If you hear anybody fooling around, well, uh, give me a whistle, okay? Sure. So what are some of the better things they're going to build for you? All right. Name me just one. Well, plenty of things.